Welcome. St. John Paul II said, have no fear of moving into the unknown. Simply step out fearlessly. Do this in complete faith and confidence. I am Lori Teichman. I'm the Director of Religious Education here at St. James. And as we fill you in today on our plans for the Religious Education Program, I am quite aware that we are indeed in a state of the unknown. And I am prepared to step out fearlessly and move forward in faith. And I'm Denise Whale, and I'm the Director of Youth Ministry here at St. James, and we're excited to talk to you about our coming year. I hope you stay with us for a few more minutes to get a feel for our plans for the Religious Education Program. And for our Faith Sharing Program for the 2020-21 school year. I'd like to begin with an acknowledgement that young parents right now are overwhelmed, and we recognize this. You're overwhelmed with decisions to make about work, school, and even extended family, and we know it's a lot. And so we want your experience here with St. James to be as stress-free as possible. So we have this program we're coming together with for preschool all the way through ninth grade. And in ninth grade, you also have the opportunity to attend confirmation prep as well if you feel called that that is your path. Children who are in second grade this year are eligible for First Reconciliation and First Communion. Those who are not attending a Catholic school will need to attend our Family Faith uh, program that we're, we're talking about today, in addition to registering for the Sacrament Prep Program, which is parent-led and parish-supported. This year, we will leave the weekly classroom model behind, and we're going to do these monthly gatherings that we're super, super excited for. It's an awesome opportunity for parents and kids to work together and experience faith in ways that they never have before. We're going to have hands-on activities. We're going to have games. We're going to make rosaries, have things to do with the rosaries, and all while learning about the Bible. The gatherings will be all age-inclusive. We'll come together as a family to meet. Um, we're going to focus on uh, topics of Catholic teaching and practices like Mass and Saints, liturgical seasons, sacraments, prayer, Catholic social teachings, and Holy Days of Obligation. Families will be seated together in a socially distanced manner, each with their own table, to enjoy an hour of short presentations, crafts, activities, and games. This portion of our program is being developed with the idea that we retain 10% of what we hear, but we retain 90% of what we do. We hope to do a lot this year. Whatever the topic, our focus will be on helping the students retain the information through creative and stimulating means. We are gonna use the Gospel Weeklies again this year. It's the curriculum we used last year, so many of you are already aware of it and how it works. And it basically talks about the gospel in age appropriate ways that you can easily teach to your kids. Parents will be receiving weekly support and ideas on how to present the gospel at home. We want that to be so simple it can be presented in a car ride home from church or um, in a dinner time discussion. The goal here is to keep Jesus and his church at the forefront of our family's priorities without causing an undue amount of stress. Um, we want this to be easy for you. The publisher of our curriculum is also making available to our families on online support materials. This is some music, some videos that they have, all to, all to support the weekly gospel um, that we're hearing. We also have these really cool activities for being Catholic. So in addition to our monthly gatherings and our gospel weekly curriculum, this year we're highlighting events once a month to strengthen your family connection to the church and how to be Catholic. We're gonna have a drive-by pet blessing for you guys in October. We're gonna be looking at our liturgical seasons and how those fit in and how you can practice those. Uh, we're looking at the rosary. We're gonna get through all of the mysteries of the rosary throughout the year. Don't worry, we're not doing it all at once, but we're gonna go through it all throughout the year so you can learn how to pray the rosary together as a family. We're gonna have family adoration. We're gonna have morning opportunities as well as evening opportunities. We're gonna have some quiet adoration. We're also gonna have some praise and worship adoration so you can get a feel of all of it and have it age appropriate for all ages. We're gonna focus on some Catholic social teachings. Uh, one of those ways is with a drive-by uh, donations and um, the annual Advent giving tree. 
Throughout the year, we're going to focus on um, Holy Days of Obligation, and as well as the liturgical season, again, just so you have a better connection to the church. So a lot of you are probably like, when are classes? So classes, we're going to have four sessions, Sunday mornings at 9.15 to 10.15, Sunday afternoons, 3.45 to 4.35, Wednesday afternoons, 4.30 to 5.30, and Wednesday evenings, 6.30 to 7.30. We will be using the social hall and we have to socially distance, so space is limited. So the sooner you turn in the forms, the more likely you are to get the session of your choice. Enrollment is now open. Go to our website uh, and you'll find a link for online enrollment. We've also got a link where you can print the registration form and mail it back in. This year, we do have a waiver that will be required, but it will be provided at a later date. The cost this year is $55 for one child, $100 for two children, or $125 for a family with three children or more. One option on your enrollment form will be to subscribe to the Magnificent subscription. This will be $18.30 per month. Many families have used this in the past, and it's um, it really just walks your child through uh, Sunday Mass. It's $34.90 to deliver directly to your home. You're saving quite a bit um, by ordering through our parish, but you will need to pick it up on a monthly basis. This year, we're also offering some really neat Bibles for you guys. There is the Children's Bible that is aimed directly for the children, and it's easier for them to understand we have a youth Bible that I actually still use today. It's fantastic. It's really great for middle school and up. And then we have a family faith connection Bible that is aimed at how to direct the whole family from the parent. So we are offering these with us since we're using the Bible at all of our sessions. This is a really great opportunity. They are going to be $31 each, which is a significant discount for the shipping cost. So I really encourage you guys to at least get one of these Bibles to use with us. We are very excited to be a part of the journey that prepares your children in the love of Jesus and in the richness of the Catholic faith. I recognize that no single plan of action is gonna work for all families. And so we're gonna offer you the opportunity to look at what we offer and to choose what works for you. We're happy to work with each one of you um, on an individual basis if we need to, to make our religious education plans for the 2020-2021 school year fit the needs of your family. We are super excited about this program. Can't wait to see you guys in person and be able to share this experience with all of you. Many prayers are being offered for our families as they make the difficult decisions related to schooling in the 2020-2021 school year. Please keep Jesus at the forefront of your child's education and let us help you. Have a blessed day. Whatever the topic, our focus I didn't change it. We're online. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You just have to edit. Okay. <laughs> Enroll. <Lots editing. laughs> Enroll. I'm laughing. That wasn't much better than mine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try one more time. Let me try. Let me try. Uh, the ability to print a. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enrollment is open. Okay. God, that was <laughs> your fault. Out. <laughs> okay, we only have. Okay. okay. <laughs> Do you need to rewrite it out? I got a pen. Have a blessed day. Nope, that wasn't it. <laughs> Here we go.